Yeah, um, basically at this point in time, I'm trying to access some client, some data off a client's hard drive. Unfortunately, it seems to go in and out. I've um, tried putting it up and just getting everything to work, but the hard drive sometimes will initialize and other times it won't. As you can see, it starts to initialize. Once it does actually initialize, um, normally that starts to freeze up a bit, as you can see, which is kind of dodgy. And, uh, in the first place, I'm kind of, well, what the hell? Um, unfortunately, it's just a side effect of it, but I, I, from what I can tell, because the client said that they dropped the computer, which uh, they dropped the laptop, and basically I'm guessing that the hard drive's just gone and carked itself because um, basically she was just unlucky enough to drop it on an edge or something like that, and you know. I mean, sometimes you can just have a straight drop and it's fine, but you can have other moments where it's not to it's not f it's not fine under that under that point of reference. I mean, you can have other moments where it's just you know you, dr you dropped it and it completely cause issues. But this is what keeps on coming up, so inaccessible. Basically says uh, drive S, which is the drive that I just plugged in here, is inaccessible. Device is not ready. Um, when you do actually try to go into recovery points, which you go down here, or it should be able to. So this is my point. It's even freezing on there, which is not good. That's not good in itself. Um, the other thing I was going to try and maybe do as well is maybe access it from a different computer, which I've got on my workbench computer, just see if I can get access to it that way maybe. Uh, possibly bring my... Uh, I'll work it out anyway, but I'll see if I can access it anyway. At this point, um, it's just it's pretty much freezing up. So you try to access anything on the hard drive, anything at all, and it pretty much it just you know seizes up pretty much. Um, can't even get access there. So pretty much after that point, you just lose the drive and the target drive goes away and Bob's your uncle. That's pretty much it for that. So that's all right. I mean, I'll still give the client back the, to the, I'll still give the client back their hard drive anyway. See if they can get something off it. Maybe, I don't know. But um, that's not an issue. At this point though, I had to totally disassemble, which I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but like what was involved with this is basically you started by taking screws out of the back, then when you then you flipped it around the front and you had to take this part off, you had to take the keyboard off, then you had to take this part off, then basically well, obviously the battery and everything else and all the other stuff. And pretty much it was a it was a whole almost a whole disassembly just to get to this one place here, which is where your hard drive goes. And that's pretty much the only place that um you know the, the hard drive is meant to go, which is right there. It's got a little plug there for it. Now, it's kind of interesting though, but having to disassemble an entire laptop just for the purpose of getting to the hard drive is kind of ridiculous, to be honest. I think most of the RAM and stuff is built into the system. I don't know where that would be. It would probably be at the back, and you probably have to strip down the motherboard to actually get to that RAM, but it possibly could be inbuilt. I think most of the time, RAM and stuff like that and those extra components these days are actually inbuilt into the system. So, you know, any, any RAM faults or anything like that, it's mostly related to motherboard. So pretty much at this point, I'm like, well, I'm scratching my head and I'm thinking, what the hell? You know, like it's it practically required an entire disassembly just to get to that point. I mean, you took the battery out and everything else. All my screws are over there and things of that nature. Um, there's even some little plate things that you had to take off as well that, that, at the back of it. Um, and then you have this. I mean, it's... It's not overly hard to disassemble once you've done it, um, or once you start to get into it, but initially, if you don't have really much of a guide to work from, it's not the easiest one to disassemble either. But uh, I, I, I grabbed a guide anyway, and I found a guide for tear down and everything else, and it was all good. So, I mean, at the end of it, it was just a case of tearing down and, you know, pretty much um, reassembling it at the end of it. Uh, well, that's pretty much what's involved, which is reassembling the whole entire computer. Um, at this point, I'm going to say that uh, I've said to the client pretty much the hard drive has failed. I've pretty much told them that the hard drive has failed because I can't see any other way around fixing this problem is to simply get a new hard drive because this hard drive has failed. Um, it's a Toshiba. It's obviously whatever's happened when she's dropped it. It has decided to, when she's dropped it, it's either been dropped on a corner, and that's a possibility, especially if it fell off a desk, because she said it fell off a desk. It's a possibility that that's happened, and that's just completely made the hard drive go kaputs. So, yeah, I mean, at the end of it, that's um, that's pretty much problem with some hardware failures, or particular failures like that. They're not the easiest thing to fix. Well, no, I mean, they, they're really, I mean, they're, I mean, okay, taking it apart was probably the, little bit the hardest, because I'd never done, I'd never done this particular model before, 
but it wasn't overly hard to it wasn't overly hard to take apart once you got once you got everything apart and you get to get to the hard drive wasn't that hard but um the hard drive itself i don't know it's got a few i don't know as i said there's there's obviously issues with it because as soon as i plug it into my computer which my computer's got a hard drive dock um i can't get access to any of the data at all at this point so yeah um this is also documentation for myself just to show the client as well that I did try to access the data, things of that nature. Oh, was it? Oh, a moment. Just plug that back in. So we'll try to reboot that. working to be honest. Um, so I've tried to access that as best I possibly could. And pretty much at this point, sometimes it'll show up, sometimes it won't. Intermittently it'll either show up or won't show up, or it won't show up long, long enough to copy some data and get things off it basically. Uh, I will try it in a different hard drive dock though, just for my own satisfaction, that I did try everything um, at this point. So we'll see how it goes, we'll see which direction it goes in general. So that's alright. Yeah, it is powered on, I can feel it humming. So, as you can see, it's not coming up as target disk, or it should come up that, it should come up on that automatically. Uh, as soon as as soon as you switch it on, pretty much. So at this point, um, that's pretty much just the the annoying part about that. I'm just like, oh, what the hell? It's kind of annoying, but unfortunately, when it comes to hardware failures, uh, it can't be helped. Sadly, with some of these particularly um, particularly well, I don't know. I don't know whether it's specifically. I mean, these newer ones have always been harder to take apart than the older computers in the sense that you can just pop out a latch or pop out a specific part of it and you can get out a specific part um, and that's pretty easy to, you know, um, well, the older laptops anyway, it was always easy, you just, there's one panel on the back, you used to take it off the hard drive or for the RAM or whatever and it was pretty piss easy to do. Uh, this, unfortunately, as I said, this is just a side effect of mass production, I guess. <laughs> also, another thing, I guess, another thing I don't want people to do is just end up buying a new laptop and not worry about the hard drives and things like that, you know? I'm like, well, what the hell? There's nothing wrong with this laptop. I mean, I mean, aside from the obvious hard drive issue, but we'll see how it goes anyway.